Hello you, welcome back to Geekism. You join me in another brick in the mall. Uh, as you can see, we've got quite a bit of money in the bank and it's going to be mine and your job to spend it in this episode. I left it running for a little while. I thought I'll leave it running for five minutes, get about 50, 60 grand in the bank so we can start off the next video straight away. Uh, totally forgot about the game running, went and cooked dinner and came back and we've now got a quarter of a million. So... Uh, we've got quite a bit to do, and we might as well just have a full packed episode where we just get loads built. A uh, couple of comments from the last one, Matty Fox uh, says that cinemas are a bit funky. As you can see, if you make two screens and select them all as one cinema, uh, then they all pile into one and the cinema shows in the other. I fixed that now, so I'll show you through manage assign. You have to actually make these as separate movie theatres, but then you can link them both to the same ticket lobby. So that's what we've done there. So thank you very much, Matty, for pointing that out. Uh, also, he recommends that we should carpet our entranceways. I think that sounds like a great idea. So if we go to floor tiles, find a nice uh, carpet here. And why are you thinking to do that with it? I don't think he means, like, there's an actual carpet in the game. I think that probably looks pretty good. As in, I don't think it makes a difference between uh, cleaning these up or not. One thing I have noticed is I think we need a new maintenance centre down here with the janitor because it doesn't look like the janitor is getting down to us here. So that's fine. So thank you for that, Matty. Uh, who else? A few suggestions for names. Uh, it seems like the most co uh, popular one, excuse me, is... Um, oh, let's have a look. I can't find me uh, thingy now. It was uh, Geekplex. Uh, we're just going to have a weird bit of wooden floor there. Uh, Geekplex it is, so we're going to rename the place Geekplex. What am I doing here? Ugh, oh, my words, there's no one do, is there? Um, ticket lobby, where are you? There we go. Proceed. Uh, manage is what we want. So, let's call the ticket lobby, I assume is the actual name of the place. So, you and I are going to become Geekplex. Like so, done. Ge Geekplex or Geekyplex? As in, like, Cineplex. I'm thinking Geekyplex. No, Geekplex. Oh, I'm not too sure. I think Geekplex. There we go. We could try it. So we'll have you as Geekplex, and then we'll have you there as... Um, we'll call you Geekplex sc Scream 1. And then here you are going to be... Geekplex screen 2 here we go and you can be restroom Geekplex done awesome okay so everything down here is named now up here we're doing okay the main problems we're getting here is that basically stuff is full so Geekos is usually full um, the food area is usually full as well so the way to fix that is to build more more areas so that's what we're going to do but first of all we're going to finish off our complex here uh, originally i was just going to build another two screens down here and uh yeah i think i'm going to stick with that um somebody uh, aaron cummins has put how oh, the seat's the wrong way um in the movie theater and i think what's um what he's referring to is that when oh the place isn't even open so we'll start building a room but when it's open you'll be able to see what you mean uh, right foundations so we want I want this to line up nicely. 8 to 13. 8 to 13, like that. Yep, that seems cool. Uh, we'll get those built. A horrible noise kicks in. I'll try my best to make sure the game plays turned down because it is awful, isn't it? Uh, we want these lovely floors there. Yep. And there. We then need these to be walled, like so, uh, like so, and then once that's done we'll stick a couple of doors in it, there and there, come on, come on, there we go, okay, you're going to finish this floor, did I run out of money or something? Or was the room not built? I, I'm assuming the room wasn't built. Okay, so if you can see here, um, it looks like this, the TV's wrong around. Uh, what it is, is how the, how the guys are drawn, how the little peeps are animated, is they don't have a back of their head, basically. It's always, they basically face left or right. Um, so, uh, in this instance, it looks kind of looks like they're facing the wrong way. It's not the fact that the seat's the wrong way around, it's just that 
how they're drawn, the, the backs of their heads don't exist. If you if you look, if you slow down a little bit, even if they're moving up, you know they they still only look left and right. And I assume it's just a it's, it's just a way to keep resources down, really. And I think it's fine. Maybe in instances like this, a back of a head graphic would be a good idea. But for the most part, I don't think it uh, affects the game too much. Uh, so let's go back to objects. Stick a couple of uh, movie projectors in here. Uh, there and there and then seats how are, we, how are we going for seats did we leave two blank and then two at the back so one two so these will probably look a little better being the right way around let's give us two there as well did we have oh we, we're one smaller there and we're one smaller on this side as well well that's okay we can go with that and we can just uh, we can just imagine that these two are the like these where the slightly older movies get get shown. You know, once something's been out for a couple of weeks, usually moves down to a smaller screen. Uh, that's perfectly fine. We'll bring that down there. Okay. Uh, we'll assign those to screens. Let's have a look. Movie theater. There we go. Boop. And movie theater. Boop. Let's class as two separate ones. That's good. So movie theater seventeen becomes. Uh, Geek Plex Screen 3. Is that right? Is that how we're spelling it? Yeah. And then this one here becomes Geek Plex Screen 4. Done. And I say that that there for screen cinema is a fine, uh, fine little size. So. Uh, let's. Oh, we just have to link those up, don't we? So screen three, assign lobby to Geekplex there. Screen four, assign lobby to Geekplex there. There we go. So now they'll people will start filing into them whenever movies are on. Uh, good. I think we should use this little space here as something. So I'm going to build a wall along. In fact, I'm going to build a foundation along the back here. Um, and we won't have another restroom. I think it's fine. But what we will do is we'll have a little arcade. So objects will have a double door going into it, and then down here somewhere is an is arcade machines. Now, unfortunately, they don't really swing around, uh, but there's pinball as well, and they don't really swing around either. But we can do uh, we must place it indoors. So we need that room building first. Okay, that's fine. Let's speed the game up a little. Uh, so now look, they'll sp they'll spread over all different rooms, and uh, and as people file in, they'll file into an empty one, and then film starts playing eventually. There we go, that's been done, that's good. So I'll have a pinball and uh pinball like that, and then we'll have a vending machine oh no not vending machine, we'll have an arcade cabinet there, there, there. Well let's do it that way then. So let's have a pinball there and a pinball there. Okay, that's 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 fine. Uh, Floor-wise, in there we want. Hmm, I don't know really. I could do some more sort of carpety ones, really. Uh, yeah, that's that's fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's our cinema pretty much done. We're going to build a bowling alley on the back of it. Um, and we're going to have two entries. We're going to have two entrances to our bowling alley. We'll be able to get in from this side and also through the ticket lobby. Uh, you can carry on through to the, uh, the bowling alley as well. And you know what? Probably we'll do one down here as well. So that's basically the main thing we do. And if we've got time, we'll come up to there and build a few little bits as well. Uh, but we really, I really want to get a bowling alley done. So uh, let's have a look. Build foundations. So, oops. Kind of want this to be a pretty big box. I mean, that's going to cost us near enough all the money we had. Um but I think it's going to be what we have to do. So let's go like that. Let's make it a little bigger here and a little bigger here. Okay, so basically we've got one huge room here. It's pretty much going to drink all our cash. But we can always uh, pause the video and come back to it if we need to accrue some more money. It's not a problem. The main thing I want in this bowling alley is not only for it to be a bowling alley, but it's also going to be a couple of fast food places as well. Uh, let's just get rid of that piece there. 
Okay, so let's have a start thinking about what we need for our bowling alley. Uh, objects. The main thing is the actual bowling lane itself. Uh, oh, we, oh, that's a bit rubbish. We can't actually turn those around. Hmm, kind of messes with my plan. Originally, was going to have these all the way down here, but unfortunately, in this update at least, they don't rotate. That's not a major problem, though. We'll have them down here. Um... One, two, we can do two, one, two, three, four, five, six along there. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. We'll do one, uh, two, three. Let's do three for now because they cost quite a bit. What do you actually need to get a bowling alley up and running? A sign. Uh, bowling alley. Requires access, requires order counters, and requires bowling lanes. Okay, so let's put an order counter down as well. Uh, through building objects where are you order counter okay so right I'm trying to think normally you have kind of like a like a, a an island almost for the order counters uh, an area where it you know all the way around there are order counters and there's one on one side which is actually where you pay and then one around the back where you get your funky shoes. So I'm thinking we should probably try and do something along those lines. So let's have let's have one this way, and then one uh, that way. Okay, and then we'll go to. We'll, we haven't got any sort of counters, so instead we'll place walls in, and that'll be fine. Uh, but we will need a staff room. Go. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we will need a staff door going on there uh, because they need to get into the place. So we'll put a staff door there. Okay. So we'll fill this out with a couple of bits and bobs. What have we got? We've got a uh, a trash can. That's the sort of thing you would have in a ca behind a counter. Water dispenser maybe, so staff can get a little drop of water as well. That's good. Um, Okay, we can't get anything built in here because we haven't got a door on it. So let's build a door. Uh, let's have a double door. Hmm, would we have a double door going? Yeah, I think we would still be able to access the place through there. But then I also want double doors up here. So um, I would say three and three. They're good. And then we'll have another one down the bottom here as well. There we go. And everything's getting sorted now. Okay, great. So let's uh, let's assign this off as a bowling alley. So where are we? Bowling alley. Pretty much all of this will class as bowling alley. Um, and now we need to sort out some staff for it. Bowling alley. Uh, 24 hour bowling? No, I don't think so. But maybe 10 a.m. till midnight. I think sounds about right for a bowling alley. So let's hire cashier. Uh, you're not awful. So we'll have you coming in at 10 for 8 hours. And then we'll have another one. You're not awful either. We'll hire you to come in at uh, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so there we go. So that gives us a little bit of a peek. But for the most part, that gives us somebody while, it, while the place is open. So again, names for a bowling alley, please. Uh, whichever one we like the look of the most or gets the most likes or whatever, uh, that's the one we'll use. We are going to spend a little bit of time making this place look a little bit nicer as well, though, so uh, do not fear about that. Um, we've probably got enough money to maybe think about doing uh, another shop up here. Or one thing I did want to do is look at doing a liquor store as well. So I've kind of had a look at this uh, needs menu here. This kind of tells you what people are looking for. Uh, and I noticed a thing here, tier 1, tier 2 and tier 3. Um, at the moment, we only really sell tier 1. We have two things on display. This is liquor, but uh, most of the food does this. Tier 2, we have to sell liquor in a store with over 50% of beverages to satisfy the demand. And to sell tier 3, we have to sell liquor in a store with over 50% of liquor to satisfy this demand. So I think what happens is, although the actual uh, shelving itself doesn't change, the quality of the stuff on it changes as far as the guests are concerned depending on what, how much of uh, that same stuff is in the shop. So what it means is uh, it's beneficial 
as far as the game is concerned, for you to build lots of very small independent stores that just sell one specific item. I think is kind of what it's telling me. So with that in mind, we shall build a liquor store. So let's um, let's just fill out the road a little here. Uh, road, we can carry on this road down. I mean, that is two blocks there we've done. Um, so we'll probably leave it at that and we'll start a little row of specific stores here. So let's have a look. Uh, wall, uh, not walls, we'll do foundations. Okay, so we can build a pretty simple little store. That's going to cost us a fair bit of money, but we will have a bit of uh, bit of cash left over to stick a small storage on the back. Just going to pause that a second because I want to make sure the road will go around. Yeah, so actually, what we want to do is it like that really, and just have a mm, that might make a bit too small of a storeroom. So we'll have it there. Hmm, is that going to be too small of a storeroom? I think it is. So what we'll do is go to foundations, we'll get rid of that there, and we'll add the wall in a little bit lower down. Yeah, I think that'd be okay for a simple store. And then what we can do is, with our roadworks, we can put customer, uh, we can put staff parking even, and store and uh, loading along the back there. So that's fine, we'll carry on with that. Uh, objects then, a double door. Fits nicely there. Staff door there and there. Okay. There we go. And then we'll finish off the roadworks here with staff parking there and there. And a loading zone there. Okay, that's good. Happy with that. Uh, okay, let's have a put some stuff in this store and see if we can get it open pretty cheap. Uh, we want shelving is it for liquor or food shelving for liquor let's have a look liquor yeah okay so let's have a think how well this should be laid out thinking um i mean normally it's all behind a counter or up against wall really isn't it but i think just two rows along the one two we could just do two rows of four Okay, let's have shelving on one side, let's have fridges on the other, like that, and then we'll do some a couple of shelves down the middle. Hmm, don't want to cut off the queue too much though, because we are going to need queue. Uh, let's have that, and that then. Okay, and then we'll do a checkout counter. Oh, it's annoying. It is annoying that we need a whole checkout counter as opposed to just an order counter so the queue goes down the other way. But to be honest with you, we're probably just going to have to deal with that as a shorter counter. Okay, let's put it there. And then let's go to select. Um, now, how do we get rid of stuff? Build, remove objects, there we go. I want to get rid of that and that. And that will probably give us, uh, give us a little bit longer of a queue. That looks about right. I mean, ideally it would be in the middle, but we're going to lose a lot of the queue space there. So I think we'll just have it like that. Um, I mean, what we could do actually is objects. Uh, is there anything in the table that will fit? Not really. I mean, we could have to, you know something. I was thinking something there just to kind of have it, give a reason for the checkout being off to one side, but it doesn't really look right anyway. No, I think we'll leave it like that. No, that's a nice little neat uh, store. It looks like attention has been paid at least to uh, to how it's laid out. So let's manage it. Uh, oh no, we just zone it first, don't we? Uh, so assign let's to a store like so, and to storage like so. Uh, okay, now we can manage it. So store 20, assign storage is you. And you are going to be open 9. Again, you need to be kind of open till like 1 or 2 in the morning, don't you? Let's do 2 in the morning because that will mean that staff don't overlap to start off with at least. We can just have a low low staffage. Okay, what do we need to do next? We need to put, actually put stuff on shelves, don't we? Um, 
so beverages you're pretty much gonna you've got beer liquor wine okay so let's do um, let's do liquor down the side of a wall of liquor there and then this can be uh, beer and this can be wine and then we can do a chilled wine Oh no, we can't do a chilled wine. Okay, so you can't put any white wine in there. So beverages here. I mean, it's got to be. It's got to be beer in the fridges, then, hasn't it? Really. Beer and maybe one thing that's not. Let's have a look. What can we do? Dairy milk, ice cream. Does that kind of go? You know, like impulse buy. Like the, you know, liquor stores usually have crisps and stuff available at least. So let's do some ice cream. Why not? Uh, okay, so that's that. We need to now get some staff. Store clerk. Uh, you're pretty. Is he good at a store being a store clerk? You can come in at nine. Cashier. Uh, oh, you're even better at being a store clerk. Okay, so what we're going to do, hire a store clerk. We'll hire you, then we'll fire you, and then we'll hire you back as a cashier. And we'll hire... Well, you're really good. Oh, you're really good as a builder as well. We'll hire you as a, you as a cashier, though. And then we'll move the cashier to... Uh, five six now four is it five eight plus five is one yeah that's right they're open till one in the morning good stuff okay select uh, so again we need a name for this now two shots we built there we've got a bowling alley let's have a look is it working it is working people are bowling let's bowl let's bowl let's rock and roll it looks like though uh eaters and geekos and hungry no restaurants okay I mean, there was three people playing bowling then, so somebody came to the checkout and left again. So it looks like we need more bowling alleys. So let's build a couple more of those. Seems to be bowling was pretty popular. They cost eight grand each, so we can just do two for now. That's fine. Uh, we'll see how that helps us. Down here, then, our liquor store opens up. What time is it now? It's four in the morning, so we'll hold on for this opening, and we'll see how we get on. We need our stock guys to come in and put stuff actually on the shelves. <laughs> And, uh, and then we've got a few other like, we can do just I just want to do like a little row of stores here nothing amazing you know just some little stores little specific use stores maybe a little freezer shop that just sells frozen goods um, we do need eventually then to build this road down to here and have and then on this side I want to do a big department store and that's probably where we're going to finish the series I think we'll have a full mall here some little independent shops down here we've got an entertainment center we've kind of done everything we can in the game right now and uh, I've enjoyed it but you know time to move on and play other stuff so I think that's probably what we'll do maybe one or two more episodes anyway liquor store is open people are loving it they can't get enough of that sweet sweet alcohol uh, okay so happy with how the liquor store is looking it seems to be making us money there's a lorry coming every now and again to fill up. Staff's uh, stock guy's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, this looks like a real popular little store, actually. Probably building one or two of these. Okay. What floor pattern are we using for the storage? We're just leaving it as is. Ah, this is what we need. We need janitors. Desperately need janitors because the place is a mess. Right, so let's have a look. Um, manage, sorry. Maintenance center. We only have two janitors come in. And a lot of that happens at a bad time. So let's move you to there. Let's hire a janitor. You're pretty good at being a janitor. Move you round to there. Okay, now we always have a janitor in the building. Okay, let's see how we get on with that. It might not be enough. We might have to do more. Uh, no restaurants. Eatism's full. Store 20 is full as well. Wow. Geekos is full. Uh, we now sell 50 different types of products. Wicked. That must have been the ice cream helping us out there. Uh, so, this is looking like a popular little store. There's not really much we can do about that, to be honest, without rebuilding it or making it bigger. So, I think we're just going to have to deal with it, being, you know, busy. Maybe build another one up in the mall. Uh, but normally, liquor stores, they're normally out of the way, really. I've noticed that. Uh, normally, they're building, they're, they've got their own little building. It may be something to do with licensing, I'm not too sure. Okay, what we got here? Uh, our bowling alley is uh, looking pretty good. It's all short. She's gone home. They're just finishing off their round of bowling, and then they're going as well. I hope. There we go. <laughs> How good's that? Uh, right. Let's uh, let's manage. I think 
a little fast food place here at the back of the bowling alley is very standard uh, and then we'll do another one up here as well um we may have to adjust the bowling alley assignment here i think but that's fine uh, in fact let's do that first let's take off that there okay i think that's probably all we're going to get away with because we won't be able to I've, I've got a feeling people should be able to walk around within it so i'm guessing we're, we're that's the space we've got so we'll put that as a fast route food fast food fast food restaurants there we go and we'll sort that in a minute so let's build uh what what tables did we use up here we use the blue ones up here we have oh we have these cool diner tables excuse me we have these cool diner tables that we could do um well this really isn't really isn't really a diner is it i'm pretty sure we're probably better going off with the fast food court ones actually yeah okay let's make sure we can fit everything in first though um we need uh, a cooking range ah which we can't rotate annoyingly okay i think we need to build a kitchen then for this okay um so foundations let's build a little kitchen i mean I want nothing much here at all. How, in fact, how big was that? Yeah, that's that's pretty much how I want it. I just want two of those, basically, in here. So we'll build one, two. You are now trapped in there, love, so we'll get you out. Uh, the staff door there. I'm hoping they can go through a door with food. I'm pretty sure they can. Uh, in fact, I don't think the food moves from there. I think it just uh, magically jumps to wherever it's going. Which is going to be here, fast food warmer. So we'll build one, two of you, and then an order counter here and here. Okay, and then we need to build a few more walls, one there and one there. And then we'll build another staff door around the back of this so staff can actually get in and out yeah okay that's pretty good um let's build the road out a little there so is that uh so that our guys can get down to us if we build it there it's a, mm, a little bit there to there it's not ideal but it's probably the best we're going to get with it uh, so we'll build staff only parking. Oh, do we need storage for a cooking place? Oh yeah, we do. Oh, okay, I didn't think that one through, did we? Okay, well let's let's add a little bit of storage on here. Let's get rid of that road. Uh, remove road work. Remove that. There we go, just in time. And now let's build a foundation here. Might as well make the most of the space. Uh, let's carry it this way. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Can we do it that way instead? There we go. And there, foundation there. And can I just not do a two by two foundation? Is that what it's telling me? Yeah, no, 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 not there, not there, or there, or there, or there, or there, or there. Okay, that should do it, I think. That should build the storeroom pretty big. Uh, yes, perfect. Okay, so that's going to be our storage room. So we'll put our staff door on the back here. And then we'll put our uh, roadwork, staff parking. Uh, oh, that's messed up the space a little there, there, and there. And loading zone there. Okay. Looks like it'll fill that space nicely. Oh, that's a bit annoying how that one's gone there, but never mind. Okay, happy with that. So now let's uh, let's put a few seats in this food restaurant. Uh, objects. Of course, let's. Hmm. Let's figure out where the queue of that is. Let's try and put another one down to figure it. 
Uh, so it's on the right side is the queue, okay. Which means we can put tables here and not, and not be affected, which is pretty good. So we'll have... Oops. Must place it indoors. You are indoors. Mm, that's really irritating, okay. Um, there and... Oh, that's really infuriating that we can't place it lower down. Okay, never mind. Let's do there, 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 and there. And then... Well, we'll just cut the queue off and hope it isn't much of a problem. And hope that the 5 and the 6, 7 there is enough for a queue. Okay, good. So I'm pretty sure that's all we need for the for the place. I don't think we need a fast food soda dispenser. Uh, let's have a look in a signing. Fast food restaurant. Uh, requires oh it does require soda dispenser okay well let's turn one of those food ones into a soda it's a disoder uh, a soda dispenser instead let's get rid of you and then we can put you in once that's happened do we have a builder on their way yes here they come excellent there we go put you down so I'm pretty sure that's all we need so let's go back to a sign fast food restaurant uh, you're all fast food restaurant, and then you are storage. Okay, so let's try and link all this up then. Fast food restaurant, assigned storage there. Uh, staff. So we need a stock clerk. We haven't got a decent one, but there's a half decent cashier there, which we can hire. Um, hire a cook. No, but again, there's another decent cash here, so we'll hire you. Hire cook now. No, but there's a half decent stock clerk, so we'll hire you. Hire cook now. Oh, yes, yeah, you're pretty good as a cook. Okay. Um, you're gonna we're gonna open the store for sixteen hours, I think. So from nine in the morning, no, ten in the yeah nine. What time is the bowling alley open? We kind of need to match that, don't we? Uh, bowling alley is open from 10 till midnight okay so that we need this to kind of match that uh, so fast food restaurants 10 till midnight so our first cashier comes in at 10 in the morning and the second one comes in stays through till midnight which will be 4 yeah that's good Shop clerk can come in at 10 in the morning and uh, cook can come in at 10 in the morning. We will need a second cook. I'm pretty sure you need you need to cook all the time. Uh, you're all pretty awful, but let's be honest, you're in a fast food restaurant in a bowling alley, so we can't expect much, can we? Uh, you need to come in at 4 as well. There we go. Well, hopefully that 4 to 6 time will be the busiest time anyway, so it'll be useful to have a couple of extra staff in there like that okay so you're going to open tomorrow fast food restaurant number 22 let's hope that works out for us i mean we could put another little bit of uh food what's the word tables is the word i'm looking for um oh it's all gone the same color now which is quite awful manage there we go uh so we could yeah we could put a table there why not why not Let's do it. There we go. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Physically, it doesn't look any different, although I think I want it to. I like this this check floor for the kitchen area. So I think we're going to keep that down here as well, because I do like the idea of a glance being able to see what each area is. Um, so we'll, we will do the same for that. Um, and also, it kind of looks like the sort of floor you would have in the kitchen of a, of a, of a, of a cooking place kitchen is the word I'm looking for uh, there we go we'll drag those down there terrible for not remembering words sometimes so storerooms the lights always stay on that's pretty interesting hmm okay so let's have a look at this bowling alley's getting on it looks like we're making money like 19 grand a day what did we make yesterday Ten, oh, no, 10 grand we make a day roughly yeah that seems about right if we don't spend much so 10 grand a day that's pretty good going we've kind of spent Filled the place out a little bit more. It's starting to look like a full-on mall now. Let's have a look how... Keep an eye on the um, parking situation as well. Make sure 
everything's pretty much parked up. I find it interesting that until that's open, that lights off, but all these are lit up. Hmm, strange. Okay, so we're up and running, I think. Are people going to come and eat? Yes, they are. So it looks like we're working okay here. Bowling's popular, guys. People seem to enjoy bowling. We might have to build some more bowling alleys. We could build one more bowling alley there. Yeah, we could build one more bowling alley. So, build... Objects... Bowling alley. So far I've noticed that they're pretty much full. For the morning. Uh, they're kind of down in the afternoon, which is interesting. You'd think bowling would be more of an evening activity. But I'm kind of happy with that. And it looks like... This is keeping its... Uh, keeping up with itself as well. Okay, great. Now, I want this to be a wooden floor, but my word, I'm sure that is going to cost an absolute fortune to do. Uh, let's have a look. Floor, fill. 26 grand, yeah, I thought so. So that's probably the last thing we're going to do. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Look, it tries to work out how much it can do for you. <laughs> oh no, it's sort of like a, a weird ray thing. How strange. Um, but I do really want wooden floor there, but I'm thinking... Uh, uh, let's draw it instead. Thinking this sort of floor for the de for the fast food place is probably okay. And then we can have here and that one, but we don't have to do all under here, which is which is good. That saves us a few quid. Uh, and the same here, we can go around like so. We've made money today, so we can carry on up here. Yeah. Can we just do that? Oh, there we go. Oh, we've gone into debt. Never mind. 600. That's the first time I've ever seen us go into debt, so I'm hoping tomorrow we make some goddamn money. <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty happy that that's turned out. We've got a little arcade here. I don't think the arcade does anything. Um, like I don't think we actually make money off any of this. Maintenance costs so far, it doesn't actually look like it actually... You know, we actually earn money from it. I'm pretty sure it's just a... Uh, just something that looks a bit good. One thing I am going to do though is maybe make the floor pattern look a little bit more interesting. Like so. Uh, using these, that's one it is already I think, isn't it? Oh, not quite. Yeah, it is. Uh, that, just that way, it just gives us a bit of colour variation. Makes it look a bit more interesting. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks a bit more fun and funky. Might do that in some other places actually on the way in, like some horrible 80s geometric carpet the sort of thing you would definitely see in a uh, in a bowling alley well there you go right so please help me out guys we need a name for the bowling alley we need a name for this i mean this i'm happy for this to be another eatism i have no problem with this being a chain that uh you know that we just have um have all over the place but if you can think of something better feel free to uh, let me know what i might even do is make this a bit larger and have some more seating you know, that's something we can probably do in a future episode as well. Uh, and also a little tiny liquor store down here. That This is the little liquor, the little liquor store that could. I've got a feeling this thing actually makes quite a good bit of money. Let's have a look. Uh, 20, oh, not massive, 28% profit margin. But, you know, overall not too bad. It's making us uh, a couple hundred quid a day. Happy enough with that. Uh, so there you go. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help at the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, pop them down in the comments. And uh, if you want to have a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.